a ten party day. Woohoo! <laughs> we wish you all the happiness and laughter as you begin your own happily ever after. So raise your glasses, let's make a toast to the beautiful bride that we love the most. Oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Tonight's video is super exciting as I always say but for real because today is my home hen do which my maid of honour, my cousin, has um, organised. Basically I've got no idea where I'm going, um, I just know I had to be ready for like 2 o'clock to be somewhere in Newcastle. I have been filming clips this morning as I've been getting ready so I'll insert those now. It's hen party day, woohoo! Please excuse my hair, I've just put a clip in. I've slept it with this clip just so that my hair didn't get like kinked or anything. Um, and I've just done my cousin's makeup. Now I'm heading to get my hair done off my friend Demi and I'm honestly so excited. Had a little sip of Bugs Fizz but I don't wanna get carried away so I didn't drink it all. <sighs> gonna lie in the stomach, have some breakfast biscuits, have some food when I get home. But it's just, oh, I'm so excited. Last night was my bridesmaid proposal, which couldn't have went any better apart from spelling squad wrong on all the pictures <laughs> until I realised. But yeah, had the best, best night and oh, the perfect start of the weekend. But I can't wait. Let's go get prepped for my hen do and let's get this hair sorted. <laughs> My hair's all pinned, ready to go. Woohoo! Demi's just done it. She's so good at hair. I've gone for Hollywood waves, so she's left like the pins in, like the clips. So yes, I'm gonna go home and get my makeup on. Makeup time. I'm so excited. My mum's just called to pick up some shoes and I did have some eyeliner because that's what she likes, a little bit of eyeliner. So done all that. Only oh, take that clip off. Now time to get my makeup on. Yes, I'm all ready and all excited and on my way. 
We're just going to pick up Jake's sister and then my mum and then we are going. Like I say, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, scared, nervous, excited, all of the emotions. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this vlog and let's go see what my surprise is. In the back. So, we're here, the first destination, and I'm so scared. We're just waiting to be allowed to go in, so. I'll just do it tight, I'll just not just go. Woo! The theme is pink. I'm very nervous. Happily ever after. 
So raise your glasses and make a toast to the beautiful bride that we love the most. <laughs> It's the pink crew. It's the pink crew. Hi vlog. Hey. We're out on a hen do. It's actually my hen do. <laughs> So we're on to the next place. What we're above. welcome back to my weekly vlog and I really hope you enjoyed those last clips honestly last weekend was I can't even like describe how amazing it actually was um it's now the following Friday and it's a week ago since I asked my bridesmaids to be um bridesmaids and then Saturday was obviously my Hindu which you've just watched honestly it was insane we had the best time i haven't put every single clip in because i was watching it back like just thinking this is not for youtube um but i try to put like as much as i could in just so you could see like how much fun we had everybody said they had the best day my cousin organized it like perfectly there was so many surprises with the cardboard cut out of jake there was like all the um hen party stuff and honestly it was just unreal and it's made me even more excited for what's to come for my next hen do my abroad hen do and obviously the wedding um so i started the week off on like well the weekend was like the biggest high and then i went back to work on monday and tuesday i was meant to be there on wednesday but on tuesday i just felt 
completely awful. Um, I was thinking, is this like a three day hangover? Because I'd been ill on Sunday, very bad hangover, and then still was feeling the effects on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I was like, oh my goodness, this is like a three day hangover. But it actually felt different. And um, I then decided on the evening when I got home from work, because at work, I just felt absolutely like, I can't even explain, like disgusting. But I feel like no one believed me. I think they just thought I was being dramatic, but I felt awful i was like shaking and stuff anyway on the evening i took a covid test and i have covid again so here i am in my covid state so on wednesday i just spent the full day wiped out in bed and then yesterday i felt like a little bit better in the morning kind of how i'm feeling today like a little bit better in the morning and then on the afternoon i was like wiped out again i've woke up today i feel okay i'm not 100 percent. i've got like a body full of like aches and I just keep feeling like really not good and really like tired. Um, but I've put some makeup on for the first time because I just I feel disgusting. I've got a few spots, so I just wanted to put some makeup on. I'd washed my hair the other night and I'd let it dry and it was a mess. It still kind of feels awful, but I just needed to like make a little bit of an effort because yesterday I just felt I did get ready yesterday and put some clothes on, like some joggers. Um but then in the afternoon I felt disgusting. So I'm gonna try and go out for a little walk now with my mum. We're just gonna go like um, to a park just to get some air because I feel like I need to burn a bit of energy even though I don't have a lot of energy if that makes sense. I just need to get some energy burned. Um, but yes, so from the most amazing weekend ever and the most amazing two weeks off work to going back to work for two days, catching COVID, and now I'm here, like, stuck, can't see anyone. I'm just like, oh, gonna try not to dwell because I do feel pretty sad today. I don't know, I just have this weird little horrible feeling. That's why I think a walk is gonna do me the world of good because I need to get out the house, stretch my legs, and just burn some energy, even though I don't feel like I've got that much. But I thought I would just vlog a little bit and let you know how the week is going. Um... There is an extra video going up tonight before this vlog, which is going to be hen party ideas, outfit ideas. So please go and watch that if you haven't already. Little cheeky extra upload. And also I will insert some more footage after this. I'm going to keep vlogging today a little bit because I've got a few bits to show the vlog. Um, I got a Cosma Tips box by, if you don't know what that is, I will explain later. And I'll show you what I got in that. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing of that. And I've had it for like two weeks and still haven't unboxed it. So I'm going to show you that. Um, I think I've got some new Zara home bits. I think, I think I've got some new Zara home bits to show. And also, excuse me some little H&M bits that I picked up in Parma so I thought I'd vlog them but I'm gonna go for the walk and then I'll do that all this afternoon because I feel like I don't want to push my luck and vlog too much and use all my energy because I need a whoa save it for the walk but yeah just wanted to say how amazing last weekend was and the biggest thank you to everyone for my Hindu who came it was just the best honestly it was like it's making me emotional how good it was um yeah and also my bridesmaids now won't all be back together until my wedding because my cousin in Australia isn't coming to the Ibiza Hindu. So we'll have one more Hindu, the Hindu, Ibiza. So I'm so glad we do have that because if we didn't, God, I'd be so sad. Um, but yeah, the best weekend ever. And it was gonna set me up for the best week until I got COVID. So also just to mention, no one else from the Hindu has COVID. So I'm like, where have I got it from but whatever I just knew something wasn't right on Tuesday I felt so bad but here we go I actually feel like I felt worse this time than the first time I had it but you know I always get it the worst times because my cousin from Australia is going back on Monday so I'm not really cannot really really can't blah, 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 can't really see her properly slash cuddle the baby and just let's not get into it because it's very sad Anyway, let's go for a walk. Let's try and cheer up. It will be okay. Let's go. Before I go out, I thought I would show you what I got off the work girls, which I got on Tuesday when I was having a bit of a wobble at lunchtime. 
one of the girls brought my presents and I was like, oh, this is cheering me up. So I'll show you what I got. Got a Laura Mercier mini translucent powder because I absolutely love, 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 love their powder. And this is like the perfect travel size. It's actually the bauble version, I think, the Christmas one, but it's such a good prezi. Then I actually got a little mini red lipstick, which they put in as a gift as well. Cute. Very cute. Then I got... Da -da -da. The Dior Lip Oil, which I've been... Oh! Slipped out. Desperate to try. And I got the shade Pink this one my friend used it on me before and i absolutely loved it so i'm really excited about that so it's the dior addict lip glow oil and then a bottle of whispering angel so that was like the most lovely present to go back to work to. Um, and I thought I'd just put that in here because obviously I've filmed my what I got for my birthday already. Um, and I'm just making a quick coffee before going out. And which brings me on to my Zara home order. I got a couple of new, well, I say a couple of new glasses. I got some new glasses and I also got, <laughs> doesn't really do it justice. I got this which you put little espresso cups in. Hang on, let me see if they're here. Oh yeah, they're clean. So I seen this in Parma when we went to Zara home and I thought it would be really cute. There's one more, but it's not clean, but basically it's like a little holder with little espresso cups in. So I got that, which I just think is really nice. and. Jake actually was slagging me off ordering more glasses because we've got a lot of glasses, but he loves these and he's been using them. So that's really cute. Keep them next to the kettle because it's like a black kettle, goes nice. And then I will have put my coffee in here kind of already. I'll put my milk in one second and I'll show you the glasses I got as well. I think I'm obsessed with glasses. which I have said before, but I actually think I am. But you know, it's not a bad obsession I have, if you ask me. Just get my milk ready. You know, it breaks your heart, moves to the city and the hotel bar in. So, I got these glasses, for, oh my coffee looks so strong. These glasses from Zara Home. People I watch on YouTube have them, to be honest, this coffee is not looking that attractive in them, but they're so nice. They're just like quite science-y. I love them. And then I got some more Prosecco flutes. I got two of them, by the way, because I wanted to see if I liked them before I ended up buying like four. Um, and I do really like them. So I'm going to do another Zara home order and get a couple more of them. And then I got some Prosecco flutes, which I will show you. So I've seen these again when we're in Parma and just love them. So these are them. So they've got like the most gorgeous stem and then they go like in and out and I just love them. I haven't used them yet because I need to take the stickers off and clean them and get them in the cupboard. But I'm excited to use them. Plus I'm definitely not even planting any alcohol since last weekend. So it'll be a while before I use these, but I do really love them. But yeah. Oh, actually, that comes off really easy. Ah, there we go. Prosecco time. I wish. I don't wish. So, I just got back from a walk with my mum, and when I got there, she had me some gorgeous flowers. I've got a hat on because I was trying to keep my head warm, but I don't want to take it off because I feel like my forehead might have... No makeup on, so yeah, that was a lovely little surprise off my bum. I think it was good to get the cobwebs blown off. Um, but now I feel pretty tired. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put my flowers in some water. 
and then lie on the sofa probably morning everyone happy saturday and welcome to another day in the house <laughs> um basically it is saturday as i've just said i think i'm going stir crazy um but i'm off work still because basically the rules at my work is that you've got to be off for five days or you can go back if you test negative between sorry like if i tested negative yesterday and then tested negative today i could go back tomorrow but basically i tested just last night even though i knew it would still be positive um and I did do, <clears throat> sorry i did do a little test and it was very much still positive so i don't think i'm going to get the positive test sorry the negative test to go back so it'll be monday when i go back to work so i've got the weekend off just gonna i've like put some clothes on put some makeup on just to try and get myself feeling good because i feel like when you put makeup on you feel good um which is obviously my job makeup which is hence why like the rules are a little bit different because i know that the government say you can go back to work and like the store that i work in say you can go to work if you're positive but you feel okay but obviously because i'm like close contact like i'm in people's faces doing makeup i don't really think that's ideal and also what i don't want to do is wipe out half of the team because we've got quite a big team so the best thing is just to stay off so here i am happy saturday i thought i would go through a little order which i got from cosmetips and if you don't know what cosmetips is basically it's like this big box you can order and it's like people like celebrities do sort of um like collabs with them and basically this is molly may's third one i've had her i've had <clears throat> sorry this is her third and i've had the second one and i've got this one basically they just put loads of their favorite bits in a box and you can buy it at like a really really fabulous discount um this one is a little bit different because they normally come in a box but this molly may designed this in a travel case which i thought was actually a very good idea um, so it's Cosmetips times Molly May. This is the third edition. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of... I have had this sitting in the house for like two and a bit weeks. Um, I ordered it as soon as it launched. On the launch day, I set my alarm and I text Jay because he's always on the computer and he ordered it for me. Um, and what he did was he got it like straight away and I just transferred him for it. But then obviously because I haven't opened it for two and a half weeks, I've noticed on the website they've actually been doing like 25% off, which is like really annoying when you've bought something at full price because it was still £115, which is obviously a lot of money just to treat yourself to when you don't really need the things inside, which is what I've done. Um, but it's like the perfect Christmas present, like £115 for what you get, which I'll show you. But I was just a bit annoyed that they've done like discount because I was like, that's really frustrating when like you've paid full price, then it goes on discount. Cause it's not really the kind of thing you can like, you could send it back, but I just was a bit like they obviously haven't sold out of them. Um, but anyway, I do think it's a, like, it's a really good buy. So, oh, I'm not actually too bothered, but it's just annoying when you buy something full price and it goes on the discount. So let's do a grand reveal. So it's a little vanity case, which I actually don't have any of these. So I'm excited about that. I'll show you it. I'm thinking, how will I show you this nicely? Oh my God, I'm actually so excited. Cause I know like, I knew what was in it before I'd even bought it. And I was even gonna buy it if I didn't know what was in it because I know that it's always such a good buy. So I'll do a little rundown of what you get in it. So you get the Aspa Bergamot and Jasmine Bath and Shower Gel. I'll do like a little pan over these as well. You get the ne you get a Neom scented candle, which again, they're expensive. Then you get the Eve Lom Rescue Mask. You get the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm. You get a filter by Molly May scrunchie. You get Honey Love lipstick and Whirl lip liner both by MAC. You also get the Stila waterproof brown liner, which I'm actually really looking forward to trying that. And then you get the By Terry Brightening CC palette 
as well. And also, which I think is the best, you get a full My Kit Company brush set. So you get, I think you get eight brushes. One, no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you get eight brushes as well. Oh, sorry, I'm just dropping that. But yeah, so you're getting like all of that for £115, which I know is a bargain. I just was a little bit frustrated when I seen it was on discount. That's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah, you get a brush kit as well. And then you get like a little booklet with like pictures of Molly May on and just kind of like showing you what she likes to use all the products for. Um, and like her little tips and stuff so yeah I think it's a really good way when you've not tried like certain things like I've never had a neon candle never had an Evlon mask never tried any of the Bobbi Brown skincare which I really wanted to so I think it's like good for that sort of thing to try a few bits so I'm excited about trying everything um I actually want to look in this by Terry because I've never had anything by Terry oh that is pretty that is gorgeous. See, like, I love it. I knew I would. It's just the discount thing got on my nerves. But yeah, that's my Cosmotips box. So whenever they launch, I always think they're a really good buy. But obviously, I do love Molly May. So I feel like that's why I always go for hers. Um, and the last one was amazing that she did as well. So yeah, happy with that. Let's get on with the day. My hair's a little bit crazy because I've been for a walk to blow the cobwebs off and I had a hat on and it's been raining. Some might call me crazy but I've been out in this rain. It's like torrential. Anyway, got a delivery of a little photo album because I want to do some photo albums because I've got loads of random prints that I've been getting printed off which you'll have seen in vlogs. Um, so I'm going to start and put them all in albums and make a few photo albums. So I'm going to go and watch some telly with Jake. We're going to watch this thing called Ted Lesso, which we've been watching. Um, and I'm going to do some photo album -um, or album -um, I don't know what you say. Photo. I want to say scrapbooking, but it's not. It's like a photo album, but it has little things there where you can write, like, the date of the pictures or something and then slide your pics in so I'm excited I'm going to start that mm -hmm. and I'm going to order some more I only ordered one because I didn't really know how they were going to be but it's got like 200 room for 200 pics so I'm going to start that nice cozy Saturday afternoon after a nice walk which has made my hair so frizzy anyway let's photo book I'm vlogging. Because you <laughs> you're here. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for watching. I had the best start to the vlog at my hen do and obviously the end of the week hasn't been great but next week is a new week and there's lots of fun videos coming um, including a festive menu next week. Um, little spoiler. And I'm going to create more festive content. I actually need to get myself in the mood for Christmas because I feel like it's been shoved in your face in every single shop and every single avenue. And I'm just not quite up to speed there. It's Halloween tomorrow. Um, so I think once that's out the way, the 1st of November, which is Tuesday, is going to be all things Christmas and I'm going to try and do as much festive content as I can but thank you so much for watching this vlog if you've not checked out my Palmer video go and watch that there's also a hen party outfit video which just went up as an extra so if you've not caught up with that go and watch that but thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and of course I will see you in my next video